Don't look away. When they look at you and they look away in shame, don't look away. There is 85% of the people in Arizona, in Casa Grande, do not recognize the flag. They don't recognize the flag. Mm. Do you understand what's going on, people? Do you understand? Am I a lone wolf howling in the wilderness? Why are you not doing this? Why are you not walking with your flag, your American flag? Are you proud of being an American? Are you proud that what of our, our country was and it can be? It's imperative that we put President Trump in office. We have to flood the gates. If we don't flood the gates, then we have had it. We've had it. There are so many people in Casa Grande, Arizona that do not care about the American flag. I got one finger today. When he gave me the finger, I looked at him and went, gave him a little thumbs up like, yeah, buddy, your days are numbered. Numbered. You're gonna be in this country. You're gonna give our American flag the finger. Why the hell are you here? Can you tell him I'm getting a little sick of this? I'm gonna keep walking. I'm gonna keep showing up. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stare them down and they just look at me because they're the cowards. We're not. So don't be a coward. Get up, rise up. I'd say no justice, no peace, but we all know what that was about. But straight up, it's time for us to see justice. We're at a tipping point in our country. And Casa Grande, you know, everybody's like, it's a second amendment state and everything and everything's pretty, uh, it appears conservative. But I'm thinking, since we're an hour away from the southern border, there's a lot of people that do not respect this country that are in it. Thank you, Camilla. Kabbalah. She's an absolute socialist liar. If you don't see that, open your eyes. Open your eyes. I'm an American and I'm proud of it. Are you? I'm done. I'm done with this crap. You don't know, man. I'm on like day 15 or something. I got like, we only got two and a half months left for this election. And uh, it's not looking good for Arizona. I don't think we're going to get the Senate seat. I don't think Carrie Lake can win. Not from my, what I'm seeing on the street. I'm doing a poll every day. And I'm saying 80%, 85% are ignoring me on the street. Ignoring me. Ignoring our flag. Please, go to 10 friends. Convince them of how important this election is. Don't sit on the couch. I'm begging you for our country, for your freedoms, for your children's safety. We are in an absolute flood of illegals. I approximate with 23,000 a day, how many days Biden's been in office, it's over 30 million people have come in and the Democrats want them to be able to vote. How disgusting is that? The Democratic Party has become full-on socialist Marxist. They have to be stopped. They have to be stopped. They're trying to kill our president. In an, in an election year, any election year, this is historic. Teddy Roosevelt got hit in a, in a, in a speech. JFK got killed and murdered by we know who. I mean, there's a whole bunch of people are involved in that. But they've tried to kill him twice that we know of so far. It, and, and no one's out, outraged in the streets. Everybody's just like, oh, that's terrible. I can't believe the mainstream media is not talking about it. Get out there. Put out your flag. Scream. They're trying to kill somebody that's running for office. These are not isolated events. If you think they are, you're a fool. Please, I beg you, vote for President Trump. Get out there. Get out the vote. We have to flood the gates, and they still might steal it. But we got to try. We got to try. Because they want to trigger us. They want us triggered. They want a real insurrection. They want a real insurrection. And they're going to keep poking the bear all the way up to Election Day and maybe beyond when they possibly steal it. Sears is a heart attack. 80% of the Christians don't vote. 80% of the Christians don't vote. 
Wake up. Get out of your pulpit. I've had it. I've had it. But I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep plugging along. If I end up in a, you know, out in the desert with this little little place I got to live in, I'll do it. I'll walk seven miles if one car sees me. Two hundred and forty-eight years, and we are looking at losing our freedoms. And they sit there and applaud Camilla Harris, who's got an IQ of two, who only knows how to lie. Thank you, sir. So, God always brings me somebody to give me a confirmation that there's hope. William Weedy, Mustang Medic. I'm your political commentator and journalist. On the street, boots on the ground. In Casa Grande, Arizona. That's where he's got me right now. It's going to be a chapter in my book. Uh, what is it? Trap, trapped in Casa Grande? <laughs> <laughs> no, good people here. I got a great pastor, and uh, I got a lot of anchors, meaning a lot of people that uh, I don't want to leave. So I'm here doing what I can do. Sure, I'll be standing next to the Washington Monument again, but I still got contacts in Washington, D.C. Whew! I went long, six minutes and a couple seconds. Thank you for watching if you're still listening to me speak. Appreciate you.